I thought I'd shed some light on some of the biggest traps I see artists falling into, which is making the same mistakes over and over again. I realized I haven't really gone over what the most common ones are, and I see these literally every single week. So I thought I'd sit down and take you through some of the common ones so I can save you a ton of time and a ton of money. Because if you keep making these same mistakes over and over, you're never going to grow and get your music out there, and you're going to think the music industry is against you. Or you're going to keep thinking music marketing is a scam, which we know scam stands for still confused about music. But if you only made these few small tweaks in your music career, your life would be different. So let's jump in to number one. Some artists think they can game the system and buy a fan base overnight. But you can't buy a fan base, it has to be earned. Yes, you can purchase advertising and impressions and your songs are in front of people and in their ears and eyes, but it's the songs that win over the hearts of fans. And fans will vote with their time and their attention and then eventually their wallet by streaming your songs, downloading your songs, but you can't buy a fan base. If you're gonna buy anything, buy a hit song from a hit producer, from a hit songwriter. Number two, and I've seen this so many times on our Spotify challenge from students that get scammed by someone DMing them and saying, hey, for $30, you can get tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of streams. Let's just be honest here. You really think that you're going to get real streams from real fans for only 30 bucks, especially tens of thousands of them. You know, when it comes to Facebook and Instagram ads or Spotify ads, you're looking at a couple of dollars or a dollar per click sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you can get it for 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents per click with a really good ad. But let's just be honest. Do you really think you're going to get a real honest fan base of tens of thousands of people for just a few bucks? Think again, my friend, and don't be lured in by these scams. These are called bots or bot farms, but they're not real people listening to your music. I don't know about you, but I wrote my songs for real people because I want my songs to impact people. Number three, you give up on a song too soon, or you get bored, or you just won't focus on one thing long enough until you have success. When something works in my business, I don't get bored with it. I get paid with it and I lean in even more. I already made this mistake once a long time ago. We were selling 500 albums a week and my label was like, yeah, dude, you're killing it. And I was like, yeah, I need to go write another song. And he's like, whoa, 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 Chris, d d don't work on a new album. Let's keep promoting this one we got. You know, you're already crushing it. Let's just pour more gasoline on the fire. But I was like, I've got the golden touch, man. Everything I touch, you know, just blows up. And I didn't listen to their advice and I went and wrote more songs as opposed to leaning into the ones that are already working. And then that new album did what, first of all, it wasn't as good. And second of all, it killed the momentum of the other song. So what you need to do is you need to lean into the songs that are working and promote them. Don't get distracted. Don't get bored. Go look at your songs. I don't care if they're old. I don't care if they're one, two, three, or four years old. They might be old to you, but they're not old to the millions and even billions of people that are out there that haven't heard it yet. Number four, and this one really frustrates me a lot with artists, but it's just too, too common. And it's that you focus more on trying to get paid than trying to get great. You know, if you get so good they can't ignore you, then you will get paid, trust me. But I see so many artists focusing on that ROI or grow a fan base, and they're trying to grow a fan base with songs that honestly, they belong in a dumpster fire, all right? You shouldn't be trying to sell something. You shouldn't be trying to give away or promote songs that you couldn't already sell for a profit. And I'm talking about that example when you go to the food court and they're giving away that orange chicken because it's so good that once you taste it, they know you're gonna want more. 
When you go to give away your songs, are they so good that people will want more? Or are you just trying to write as many songs as you can and just whip them all out there and thinking you're just gonna grow a fan base? I wanna encourage you to lean in and write great songs. Just one hit song can change your music career. That's why I wrote this book, How to Write and Release Your First Song. I wrote this song after we had sold tens and tens of thousands of albums, actually hundreds of thousands of albums and millions of singles. And me, I'm still learning how to write songs. I'm still writing with other producers and songwriters and picking up stuff. You know, you've never arrived. And so I encourage you to get a copy of this book. I put a link below this video. Now, number five. A lot of artists underestimate what it takes to be successful. You know, you think doing one post a day is enough, when really you need to be doing five posts a day. Um, when you're trying to book a tour, you think sending five emails a day is enough, or maybe even 10. When I used to send 50 emails a day because I knew I'd only get maybe four responses out of those 50 and then out of the, those I'd get maybe two shows booked. So you got to really increase the amount of effort you're putting into. What does that look like with even writing songs? Well, you write 10 songs and you record eight of them when really out of those 10 songs, you should probably only record two of them. Why not write a hundred songs and out of those hundred, choose the best eight. And can you imagine how good your album would be if you wrote a hundred songs with a bunch of people, which is a lot more effort, but how much better the lyrics are gonna be, the melodies, the beats, the production. It's just gonna be at a completely different level. And then when you release those songs out to the public, you, my friend, are gonna blow up. But if you think your songs are ready for the masses, then you need to do everything you possibly can to market them. That's why you need to watch this video right here about Spotify ads. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.